So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best settings in Warzone Season 4 for good and bad computers. So first of all my plan is to give you two different best settings and tell you which options actually matter depending on what type of PC you are playing the game on. Then in the next part we will be taking a closer look at some common stuttering and lagging problems that some players might run into and of course I will help you to fix them. And then lastly on top of everything else we will go over some Windows settings that will help you to boost your overall PC's performance and much more. So, if this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the best settings for good slash newer computers. And I would say that if your computer was bought in the last 3-4 to four years, and costs more than $800, then you are in this category. But if not, then the next part will be for bad PCs. So then for players with good computers, who want really good performance, high FPS and the game to look as good as possible, then first of all you want to put your display mode on full screen. Then your screen refresh rate for most monitors will be at 60. But if you have a gaming monitor or if you specifically bought a monitor with higher refresh rate, then select that number. For me I have a 240Hz monitor, so I select 240. Then dynamic resolution click to disable. And as we have this option disabled, so the dynamic resolution frame rate keep it at default which is 60. Then aspect ratio put it at automatic. Then you want to disable vSync and then for your frame rate select custom. Then click advanced and in general gameplay type the same number as you selected in the monitor refresh rate. So if you have a 60Hz monitor you want to select 60fps. Me I have 240 so I select 240. And then for menu and custom frame limit keep it at 60. When you're in the lobby you don't want your game to be running at 100% so this will help for your PC not to overheat very fast. And then lastly you want to keep your brightness at 50, display gamma keep it at 2.2 and disable Nvidia highlights and reflex low latency. Then now let's click on quality and for field of view select 120 for keyboard and mouse but if you play on controller then you want to keep it at around 100. And then lastly we click on advanced and select affected. Then camera movement you want to put at 50% least, then streaming quality put it at normal, then texture resolution, texture filter antisotropic and particle quality keep all these three on high, then enable bullet impacts, then disable tessellation, enable dismembered and disable on demand texture streaming, then filmic strength and filmic rain put it at zero, then for the next 5 settings just put all of them on disable or off. And then lastly for shadow map resolution put it at low. Then enable cache path and sun shadows. And then again put it at low or disable all of these 4 last settings. And then in the next part I will show you how much of a difference all of these settings will do to your gameplay. So then moving over to the second best warzone settings which are made for older or cheaper computers that cost less than $800, they've been bought more than 4 years ago or even for decent PCs that still for some reason are running into some weird low FPS and stuttering problems. So then for all of you guys you want to have display mode on full screen, then screen refresh rate for most monitors will be at 60 but if you have a gaming monitor or if you specifically bought a monitor with higher refresh rate then select that number. For me I have 240Hz monitor so I select 240. Then dynamic resolution click disable. And as we have this disabled, so the dynamic resolution frame rate keep it at default which is 60. Then aspect ratio put it at automatic. Then you want to disable vSync and then for your frame limit select custom. Then click advanced and in gameplay custom frame limit type the same number as you selected in the monitor refresh rate. So if you have a 60Hz monitor you want to select 60fps. For me I have 240 so I select 240 and then for custom and frame limit keep it at 60. When you are in the lobby and not playing the game you don't want your CPU to be running at 100% so this helps for PCs to not overheat very fast. And then lastly keep your brightness at 50, display gamma at 2.2 and disable Nvidia highlights and reflex low latency. Then now let's click on quality and for field of view select 120 for keyboard and mouse but if you play in controller then you want to keep it at around 100. And then lastly we click on advanced and select affected. Then camera movement you want to put at least 50%, then streaming quality and texture resolution put it at low, then texture filter antisotropic put it at high, then particle quality put it at low, then disable bullet impact and tessellation, then enable dismembered and disable on demand texture streaming, then filmic strength and filmic rain put it at zero, then for the next 5 settings just put all of them on disable or off. 
And then lastly for shadow map resolution put it at low. Then enable cache path and sun shadows. And then again put it at low or disable all of these 4 last settings. And like I promised here are the numbers and the big difference between both settings. You can see how much VRAM a good PC settings will require and then how much a bad PC settings will require as well. Both of these settings will give you the highest FPS and best graphics. So just try both of them out and see which one works best for your computer. So then moving over to the next part, and if you're using the best settings that I previously showed you, and if you're still experiencing lag, stuttering, black screen or low FPS, then here I will give you some examples and few fixes that will help you. So first of all, if you're getting weird black screens or stuttering, then the problem might be that you have different monitors with different refresh rates. So for me, I have two monitors. One is 60Hz and the other one is 240Hz. And this might seem extreme, but what fixed for me was to go into the monitor settings and make both monitors the same resolution. So you right click on your desktop, then click Nvidia panel. And here you can see both of my monitors. The first monitor is 240 and the other one is 60. So in this case make both monitors 60 hertz and this fix the stuttering and random black screens. And now the game feels more smoother and I don't know why Warzone for some reason uses both monitors and if they're different types then they give you different problems. But if you run into this problem then this is how you fix it. Then the second way will specifically fix lag when you're in fights. What fixed the issue for me was to go to your battle.net launcher, then at the top here select Warzone, then close to the play button click on settings icon, and first of all click on check for updates, then afterwards if this doesn't fix it, then click again on settings icon, but this time click on scan and repair, and then click begin scan, and this will do a quick checkup for few seconds. And if for some reason you couldn't run the game, the game would be randomly crashing and give you errors, then this is how you fix it. And then lastly, if you're still running into problems, then I recommend to Google, can you run it? And then click on the website. Then in the search bar type Warzone and click the button that you can run. And then in a few seconds, this website will show you your PC specs. So then you will see if you have a good enough PC to play this game. Or if not, then this website will give you specific recommendations on what PC parts you should upgrade and that's about it. And now finally we have come to the last and final part in which I will quickly show you few settings and options that you want to enable outside of the game. So first of all make sure that your GPU drivers are up to date. The way you do this is by searching GeForce Experience, then click on check for updates if you have the latest drivers. Then do this and you're good to go. Or if not then download the latest update. Then now let's go to the search bar again and this time type background apps and make sure that this let apps run in the background button is turned off. Then now let's go to the search bar one more time and type power and we will see this power and sleep settings. So then you click on it, then click additional power settings and then make sure that you have selected high performance plan. Usually every computer's default settings are unbalanced but putting this option on high has shown to improve FPS in Warzone. And then lastly let's go to the search bar one final time and type game mode and game mode settings should appear. So you click on it and then click Xbox game bar and make sure that this Xbox bar button is turned off. Then we select the second settings called captures and let's make sure again that background recording or any type of recording is turned off as well. And then let's select the third settings called game mode and this time we want this game mode option to be enabled. And then last but not the least let's click on graphic settings in the top right corner and enable this hardware acceleration GPU scheduling. If you remember the previous part in which I showed you how to fix weird bugs and stuttering, well if none of them worked then here is one last thing you could try out to enable this variable refresh rate as well and see if it works now. For me personally the first option fixed all of my problems with Warzone but you're feel free to experiment with both of these options and see which one works for you and that's about it. So with that said I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Warzone settings that help you and might help other players then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell so this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace. Yo, I ain't here.